Now that we've gotten a basic handle on the anatomy of the command line, we're finally ready to run our first command. The command we'll start with is called echo, which just prints its argument to the screen. Echo hello. We can also put the argument in double quotes, like this, or like this in single quotes. There are subtle differences between these, but at the level of this tutorial, you're not going to have to know them. If you're curious, you can use your technical sophistication to start investigating the differences between these three possible cases. By the way, you'll often hear people talk about printing things. This almost always refers to the screen, like this. It almost never refers to a physical printer. So when someone says something like echo prints out its argument, what they mean is that it puts it out to the screen, which is sometimes called standard out. By itself, echo isn't all that useful, but we'll see later in this tutorial that, in fact, it can be used for a bunch of different purposes. One thing that sometimes happens when you're using echo, or indeed other Unix commands, is you'll end up leaving off one of the quotes, like this. At this point, it seems like we're stuck. In fact, we could actually get out of trouble here just by putting in a closing quote, but there's a general solution that's really important to know about, which is hitting Control C, like this. There are a bunch of different situations where you'll end up getting stuck, for example, this, we'll be talking about the grep command later in this tutorial. So what do we do here? The answer is control C. And you can see in this case, the terminal actually output these symbols. This here, this caret, is the way that the computer displays the control command. And here's the letter C. There are lots of other examples of this. A couple of other examples we'll see in this tutorial are tail. Oops, we're stuck. What do we do? Control C, and also we could use the cat command. What's happening here doesn't really matter, hit Control C. By the way, if Control C doesn't work, you should try hitting the escape key. That's the other most common way of getting out of trouble.